Another day, another 2.0. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a quick look at the Hot Toys One Six Scale Batman from Batman Returns. This is a 2.0, it comes in a regular and a deluxe version based on the likeness of Michael Keaton from the 1992 movie Batman Returns. It's part of the 85th anniversary of Batman. In fairness, it was much better than that crap that they put up during the week, that um, kind of gold Batman and that uh, what Batgirl. No one's interested in that. Very, very little people anyway. I've yet to meet someone who's actually going to buy those things. Um, but this, this is something that I think a lot of people are interested in because maybe they missed out on the first one or maybe like this is their preferred uh, Batman suit or maybe they just want to upgrade their existing Batman Returns. I believe this, I think this first came out in a two pack. It had this, something similar to what you see here with the Batman with the regular cowl and then the Batman with the torn cowl. And I think there was a Bruce Wayne as well. It was a two pack. Um, so, w where do I start in this? Before I actually take a look at these, I uh, just want to highlight that there's two different versions. There is the deluxe version, which is $340, and then there's the regular version, which is $285. All right, so let's get rid of that and. Um, we're going to take a look at everything comes with, but I just want to kind of outline where I am with this. Obviously, I love Batman 1989. I've got the Jazz Inc. 89 on pre-order. Uh, I've got the Hot Toys um, Batman 89 2.0. I was anticipating that the cape was going to be crap, and by all it does, it does look crap. Look, it's just not good. They don't do good capes. It's rare they find a decent. They do a decent cape. So I went and got a Jackson Shoe custom. Uh, drape cape it's the cape e type and that looks fantastic i think graham from the jedi knights watch has that one as well as watched his video of the 89 2.0 as well now um and it, it, you know it looks great so that was one fix so i'd already done that because i was like right this cape is not going to be good um i'm looking forward to like it's really important that particular figure to me and having that representation in the michael keaton 89 uh, movie because it's you know it's, it's the first movie i ever remember really fond in love and it definitely kind of uh, kick-started my love of movies and collecting and everything like that and Batman, whatever. So that particular figure is a must-have, um, whether it's the DX09 or the 2.0, but I have to say, and I've said it before as well, I think the likeness definitely took a downgrade from prototype to product on that. And of course the texture, look, I know it was there on the prototype, but it's it, it, it just shouldn't have happened. Like the first version didn't have it. It's not like that on the screen. And even like I've seen some shots of it's like when it's like, uh, like really like um, I don't know, 4K or something like that. Uh, and, and you can see of, of the movie and you can see tiny little ripples and stuff on it. But yeah, it, it, it's, um, it shouldn't look like that. It, it should have been smoother. But I still have them pre-order. I'm going to wait and see it uh, in hand. I'm going to see if I can kind of pose. A, it's hard to pose a lot of that away. Basically, I'm going to try to cover up as most of that with the Jackson shoe cape. Because I just want him standing there with the cape. Maybe holding the grappling gun or something like that. If I can make it to look good, then he'll stay. And if not, I might actually go back and get the DX09. But anyway, I'll take a look at it. This one here. Hopefully. Hopefully. The same thing I'll say about the, uh, the DX46. That's the new T800 Battle Damage 2.0. Which I am definitely getting because of what can i say that the leather clothing the two different leather coats the leather belt the leather pants the uh, improved paint apps and improvements to the sculpt um, that amazing usb base and i want that tear gas canister launcher and stuff like that i'm hoping that doesn't get keaton i'm hoping that when that releases it's as good as the prototype because by all means the dx13 is fantastic so hopefully uh that doesn't get keaton as i call it like now because of what happened with the 89 uh, and this one here as well, I hoping this Keaton Batman doesn't get Keaton, so I'm hoping it turns out as good as the prototype, because it, it, it's just it's, it's just, just not right. It's definitely disappointing on that 89, uh, but look, I don't have it in hand yet, I'm going to see what happens and see what it looks like. Anyway, let's take a look at this Batman Returns. First impression, head sculpt looks great, um, and again, I, I, I'd say this is a massive upgrade compared to what it was before. Again, I haven't taken a good look at the figure in a while, but um, the... The sculpted hair looks good in this. I can definitely see Keaton's uh, likeness there. There's no question. Um, it's not like one that, again, I, I find it, I, I really, I think it's rare I come on one of these streams and go, this is a mind-blowing sculpt. This is like a 10 or whatever like that. But this is, this is solid. This is at least an eight, maybe a nine. I think it looks great. I'll, I'll take another few looks at it. 
there's the Hot Toys Batmobile. Again, looks fantastic. I got the Jazz Ink one on the way, like, but this look, looks fantastic for the price. Cape doesn't look too great, though. I gotta say, straight away, Cape doesn't look too great. And you know what? Um, I do prefer the 89 movie, and I do prefer the 89, the the kind of shape of the, the abdomen area, the 89 suit, because it's more of like an organic look and a six pack area where this is a bit you know it's 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 a lot more symmetrical there and uh, maybe unnatural or it's more like straight lines going on in the the six pack area if you get me um but still i like this suit too so yeah that looks really good i gotta say that sculpt yeah it's it, it's it's minimum eight for me um uh, maybe even eight and a half nine i just i just hope it holds up i hope it holds up and the, the product is as good as the, the final that production piece final product is as good as the prototype but yeah there, there's no question there this this is it looks like michael keaton from uh from from returns in my eyes anyways i think it's a very strong light likeness it's got the separate rolling eyeballs function remember there's two different versions the deluxe is 340 and the regular is 285 and i think this is part of says deluxe version here so this must be one of the exclusive the detailed wingsuit so again this is kind of a key part in the uh, movie. I think this is after the model who's supposed to be turning on the lights in Gotham City kind of um, gets, um, she's on the edge of the building. He goes to try and rescue her. Uh, God, it's been a while since I saw this movie. And then the penguin like releases a load of birds and that startles the princess and she falls over just as Batman's trying to save her and it looks like he pushed her and then i think this is how he escaped if memory serves me correct so this seems to be part of the deluxe i will confirm that later on very cool though very cool it's just going to take up the same or even more uh space horizontal space as say like figures like the wonder woman the gold wonder woman is that one woman 1984 no it's the gold wonder woman you know what it is or the captain america uh winter <laughs> captain america winter the captain america style um uh, Falcon, you know the the Falcon from Falcon the Winter Soldier, and he's got the the white and the red and the blue, and he's got the wings and stuff like that. So uh, the cape looks good here. I gotta say the cape looks good here, and we get our first look at that base as well. This kind of strange looking bird thing on it. So this must be the base. The exclusive things from what I can see here must be that wingsuit here, and of course then this thing here because the blue strips and says deluxe version. So it must be the base and the wingsuit. You must get a standard. That looks really good. Separate rolling eyeballs function. Sculpted hair looks pretty good. Not their, it's not their best sculpted hair I've ever seen, but it, it, it's pretty damn good. I'd imagine it's a lot better and a lot more detailed than the 1.0. Ah, oh, the, the likeness is pretty damn good. I'm, I'm leaning towards a 9 on this one. Yeah, looks good there as well. Looks good from a few different angles, which is a good sign. You got a batarang there in his hand. Now, deluxe version exclusive. So the batter. Oh, sorry, the, the, um, the torn cowl, of course. So that means there's a big difference between the regular and deluxe because all of these things here, literally everything so far, has been deluxe version. Oh look, the deluxe comes with the Batmobile. No, obviously it doesn't. So, okay, that's, I'm going to have to go to the end because this is a bit confusing here because this strip is on everything here. But I'm guessing it's the torn cowl, the wingsuit and the base. But look, we'll, we'll, stay tuned, we'll, we'll go through all this. He's got this little thing he uses to shoot and then kind of um, zip line down. Oh, that's the uh, programmable uh, batarang. I thought that was a bit ridiculous, but look, it was quirky Tim Burton goodness. But um, yeah, <laughs> I definitely prefer the first one than the second one. But I still really, really like Returns. Like, it's it's good. That looks a bit goofy now, to be honest. I know people are ogling over that, but close up looks a little goofy. The cow looks great. It's just the expression more than anything. That looks pretty damn good. That's a nice combination with this... Uh, this wingsuit and then this uh, diorama base he has, but isn't he supposed to be holding on to a part of this wingsuit? I must watch the movie again. I'm not sure here where he's just trying to trying to flex or something like that. I must watch the movie or see the stills, just that part to see. I always thought he was holding on to something. There he just looks like he's stretching or um, flexing. It kind of looks a bit more like he's holding on to it there, but I can't really tell. The diorama base looks huge here, but I'm, I'm guessing they've extended it. I'm guessing it's not that wide, because that'll be nearly the, the wingspan. If you look at the base on this, it's as wide as the wingspan of the wingsuit. So I'm guessing that's just been photoshopped to make it look longer, like the corner of a building. You only get a section of that, I'm guessing. 
Um, is that like a remote he has? The cape looks really good there. Well, it looks good. It looks more than pa passable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks all right. I again, I just think you. I really like the cowl on this. I gotta say. Ah, here, that's very good. You gotta hand it him. That's very good. And see, I, I'm, I'm in a position now where, um, I've got to build module case, two module cases tomorrow. I got custom Mac series. And I know if you've, uh, if you're new to the channel, you won't have heard this. But if you, if you follow the channel and be watching the videos and watching my unboxing reviews and tuning into the Hope Show on Monday nights, you'll know that uh, I'm upgrading my risers. So behind me, I've got wooden risers at the moment, and I always thought they were a little flimsy. So I thought, you know, what, what, how could I get a better riser? Uh, also capitalize on the gaps. See, above the, uh, at the top of these uh, IKEA Blalidens, and the top of that, there's about a, a foot between the top of that and the ceiling. So I'm kind of thinking, how can I capitalize on that vertical space, move these up a bit higher, get a better quality, sturdier riser, but also use the riser as display space for vehicles, because I'm going to need somewhere to put my tumbler I have in the next room and the 1989 uh, Jazz Inc. So I'm, I'm building two, uh, uh, mo I, what am I calling two module cases tomorrow. I've got all the stuff in there. I've kind of built a little bit, but I've got to put them together over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll have to do that. And then, what was the point in the story? I've gone off on an absolute tangent here. So the point in that was, yeah, the Jazz Inc. 89 is going to be down there. But I always wanted Batman standing next to him. But if you look there, Matt, you can see it there. You can barely see it there. So it's about, yeah, it's about here. That's the DX08, the Jack Nicholson Joker. So I need the 89 for that. So when I get the 89 2.0 and if I'm happy with it, I'm going to keep that, maybe pose it with the uh, Jack Nicholson Joker, maybe move that down to the movie Icons display, but I still need a Batman for next to the Jazz Inc. So this could be that solution maybe, and if I end up getting a Catwoman, pose two of them next to the Batman, something like that. Uh, but the, I just prefer if I was really hyped on that 89 and they just did a good job on it, and then I could be like, okay, maybe I could skip on this one. But now you're nearly kind of, it, it's, it's a horror because I think if they'd absolutely knocked that 89 out of the park, I wouldn't even be considering getting this. You know, so it's a, it's a first world problem, but okay, look, um, these mount plates, I gotta say, I'm not 100% gone on the likeness of Keaton in the mount plates. I think the head sculpt looks incredible, but I, I, I'm not really seeing Keaton on the one on the left, or the, I, 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 pres I can't tell, I think this looks like the same mount plate, just one from two different angles. I'm not really seeing Keaton on the one on the left. And the one on the right, I think it's actually the same mouth plate, just from a different angle. Okay. The one in the middle, yeah. The one in the middle, yeah. That's the... I, I, a lot of the time I go for neutral ones, because I think that a lot of the time, even with like 89 2.0, one of them's really goofy. It looks like a duck face. The other one is the, the battle damage smirk one. It's almost a bit too out there. The neutral one, I think, is probably uh, the one I'm going to use, and the one, one I prefer, and I can see the likeness more in it. I can see Keaton in the neutral one here, not so much on the other two, and that's a bit worrying then, because if they take a downgrade then, if you can only kind of see it now, that could be an issue. Everything else I'm seeing here looks great, the suit looks great, the cowl looks great, the wingsuit looks great, the cape looks okay, hopefully it'll be as good as this, um, and people won't have to get a custom, but I, I anticipate people will still have to get a custom to, to maximise it. Uh, neutral scope in the middle, I can definitely see Keaton there. The other two, maybe I need to rewatch it, but I'm not really seeing Keaton all the way there. Yeah, so this here, uh, diorama base with interchangeable accessories. So you can have the bird looking thing on the left, or then the kind of, is that the, is that the Max Shrek company symbol? That symbol, I think, was that, was that like, that was like a big thing on the corner of, uh, I remember a big version of this in Returns. I'm thinking that that was like the symbol for Max Shrek's company, Christopher Walken's character. So again, is this about, they're, they're going to do a Catwoman. They're, I had Yoast on last night. If you haven't watched it, um, I had an interview with Yoast from Jazz Inc. And we spoke about the, uh, the 1989 Batmobile. We spoke about the upcoming Tumblr. 
uh, project. We've touched on the animated Batmobile that he's doing, the 1966 uh, Bat Cycle. We obviously spoke a lot about the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. He dropped a load of images there and he dropped more on his Facebook post, uh, his Facebook page. Looks incredible, but I did ask him the question, right, do you think Hot Toys are going to do it? He said, yeah, they are. He, he, yeah, he's just accepted they're going to do it. So, um, yeah, so I'd imagine maybe even tomorrow for Batman Day or the day after or Monday, I'd imagine we're going to see Hot Toys uh, put up for pre-order a Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. So now you'll have two options to choose from. Right, so let's just be clear about this. The Deluxe is 340, the regular is 285, and the difference between the Deluxe for 340 and the regular for 285 is you get the diorama base with interchangeable accessories. So the diorama base with the kind of interchangeable accessories, which is the bird, which can be swapped out for kind of like this cat looking thing, which is, I believe, the symbol for Max Shrek's company. Um, let me know, it's definitely, I remember in the movie anyway, let me know if, uh, if that's right or wrong. Then also the newly developed head sculpt with separate rolling eyeballs function. So that's the torn cowl at the bit of the end when he tears it off and he's uh, appealing to Selena Kyle to just basically um, come with him or whatever. Uh, separate rolling eyeballs function. Great likeness to Michael Keaton, I gotta say. And then the Batman cowl with the, oh, the top part that's been torn off. That's pretty cool. So that's it. So actually the wingsuit does come with both versions. So what you get then with both versions... You get the wingsuit, you get the separate rolling eyeballs function in the cowl, you get three different mouth plates. I can definitely see Keaton in the top one. Not so much in the other ones, but I can definitely see it in the top one. Definitely not a deal breaker though if I'm going to get this. <clears throat> you got the kind of digital bat, batarang, you got the kind of piton shooting thing that he uses to zip line. You got his, his grappling gun, he needs a grappling gun, the wingsuit. Um, then you've got like um, a few different parts. You've got the, the remote, I can't remember what, that remote... I can't remember what that one was. Oh, I know that the, the middle remote is the one. So, the fourth image in that box there. I think the first two, are they something to do with the um, the, the, the piton things for that zip lining equipment thing that he has? Uh, I, I can remember the box control thing with the red... Uh, button, and I do remember that. I can't remember exactly what it's for, but I do remember that from the movie. You've got the remote control for the Batmobile which uh, Jazz Inc has a one-to-one -one version which you use to turn off and on the lights and all that kind of effects and stuff like that for the Batmobile. And then you got two things uh, basically uh, ropes that come out of like the grappling gun and you got a few swap out hands and all that but yeah I look this is one of the ones that's inevitably going to make people happy. People were delighted with the 89 2.0 when it was first put up for, for pre-order. People are delighted with the the DX46, that new T800 Battle Damage 2.0. And this is another another win. People are happy with this. So, yeah, I, I cannot rule this out. Um, I'm going to see what the 89 looks in hand. And I think I'll make my decision from there. I probably can't get myself a fight for Catwoman if I'm not going to get a returns. And maybe that's the way to go. Have the Batmobile. And then maybe the return stuff posed next to him and then i can put the 89 and the keaton in the movie icons display or vice versa have the 89 2.0 and the jack nicholson joker pose with the jazz inc 89 batmobile and then have returns <coughs> pardon and the pfeiffer in separate cubes in the movie icons display yeah that's it um yeah good announcement happy with this looks all good only critiques really that i'd have is uh, the cape, we'll wait and see. We know how to do with capes. And the two mouth plates with the open mouths, not entirely sure I see the likeness there, but apart from that, solid announcement. Okay, folks, that's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know if you're picking this up or not. You can also consider becoming a channel member for additional exclusive perks. And of course, we're doing a channel member giveaway, which you'll be entered to if you're a channel member on Monday, the 21st of October on The Hope Show. You can also follow me on Instagram and on X. That's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck.